Hello, welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason Newland. This is Sleep Hypnosis Weekly. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. I hope you're well. And from now on, I'm going to be releasing these weekly recordings on Mondays. Every Monday. Because over the last few months, you know, this sometimes more than seven days between and so I thought I'm going to try and make it a bit more easier so that you know when they're going to be being released so every Monday a new sleep hypnosis weekly will be available for you to download or stream for free either on my website jasonnewland.com or whatever podcast um, host that you listen to whether it's Spreaker or iTunes there's, there's so many so um, what I'd like you to do Is get yourself comfortable. And I realised that there's a possibility that you may find that you're listening to this because of perhaps problems with getting comfortable. Because maybe your mind is has a habit of overworking itself. The analogy would be like a, a faulty boiler. I had a faulty boiler, had a new one put in. Uh, about two months ago, but he used to he used to make so much noise when the heating went on, and during the summer, whenever I turned, I had the the heating turned off. Whenever I turned the hot water on, the heating would come on. So that analogy there is when you go to sleep, you don't need your brain switching on and starting to think. Just like in July, when I was running a, a bath, I didn't need the whole flat to be warm when it's, you know, 80 degrees outside so it's almost like something's not working correctly the brain's doing what it doesn't need to do And there may be a reason for this. Well, there's always going to be a reason, but there might be a reason that we can discover. But we may need, not need to discover it. But it's just an idea that perhaps 
in the past. This was the time when you think. Perhaps even now even. Maybe your days are so busy. Perhaps you've got a busy job. Very busy day life. Maybe children, grandchildren, parents, caring for someone, uh, exams, maybe, you know, some kind of illness, other illness that you're dealing with. And perhaps when you lay down on your bed, your mind suddenly has an opportunity to think. Yet it's at an inappropriate time for you because you want to go to sleep. So if someone was spending the day keeping themselves very busy to distract themselves from thinking, unfortunately that technique doesn't work when you're in bed. Because you can't watch television when you're in bed, well you can but you know, there's things you can't do. You can't cook a meal when you're in bed. What, you know, trying to sleep. There's lots of things that you can't do to distract yourself. I can't believe the first thing I thought was sleeping in bed. Because lots of people sleep in bed. But this isn't the time to distract yourself. This is a time to let go. So one suggestion is maybe take maybe half an hour a day. where you can think and a good way of doing that is to meditate because thinking just happens automatically when you perhaps try to not think or when you decide you're just going to sit there and think about nothing lots and lots of thoughts will come and go. Then maybe you could do it now. Maybe when you're in bed, you can just say, well, okay. Bring it on. Let the thoughts come. But I'm not going to hold on to them. I'm not going to go on a ride with them. So when one thought comes, I'm not going to allow that to just lead on to another one and another one. And before you know it, you're thinking about something completely different. Instead, you can do lots of different things for this situation. We can number the thoughts. Just counting. One. Two. Three. Four. And so on. So every time you 
have a thought it can be absolutely anything including uh, an internal commentary on what you're doing so it could be a thought around I wonder if other people do this Five, you can count it. My legs itchy. Six. I wonder what the time is. Seven. Including the most mundane thoughts to those that may be really important in your life at the moment for example someone you're caring about someone you're caring for I wonder how mum is eight I wonder how she'll be tomorrow nine Now you're not dismissing the thoughts. You're not dismissing what's going on in your life. You're not dismissing how much you care for somebody. How much you love the person. By not allowing thinking about them to take over your entire existence while you're lying in bed. What you're doing is you're saying that that's not an appropriate time to think about that stuff or to think about any stuff. And in this way, we be indis- was it indiscriminate. We don't discriminate between important thoughts and trivial thoughts. You treat them all the same. You just number them. You're not disrespecting them. You're not dismissing them. You're not laughing at them. You're not mocking them. You're numbering them. That's it. Just number each thought. And if you lose track of what number you're at, just start again. Or it might be easier if you just count from one to 10 and then start again at one. Or if it might might make it more familiar for those to listen to these recordings regularly to count down you count down from 10 down to 1 with each thought and then start again at 10 down to 1 Because everybody has thoughts when they're lying in bed. Even if it's simply, oh, this is nice. I'm so glad. I'm so glad it's the end of the day. I'm glad that day's gone. That was a tough one. I'm just glad it's gone. Another new day tomorrow. I need this rest. Or it could be an almost bombardment of things, thoughts, worries, concerns. But basically, we don't feed them because they need energy to grow. If you think of each thought like a car, 
that's driven up to the petrol pump. You're in charge of the petrol pump. It's your garage, your petrol station. And each car has run out of petrol. Each thought, all of them, no matter what the thought is, has run out of petrol. And they're coming to you to get refilled with petrol. And instead, you just say one or ten or five, whatever number. And a tow truck with that number on the side of it backs up and takes away that car in the distance gone forever. And then the next thought pulls up next to that petrol pump that's locked so only you have the key to the petrol pump. You don't have to leave the petrol station. You can stay there in the warm or the cool, wherever it is, with a big thick glass. And you can just watch from behind counting and just like in reality when a petrol station's run out of petrol to start with there'll be a big queue because people don't know twelve cars back they don't know that there's no petrol. The only person that knows there's no petrol is the one that's at the petrol pump at that moment. But word starts to spread. And eventually, you get less and less cars pulling in. The queue stops no longer a queue just individual cars may pull up and perhaps if you wanted to which would make sense you put a sign up I'm sleeping do not disturb No more petrol here. Pumps empty. It's the pie, you know, the cars pull up, see the sign, drive off. And that counting. Counting gets to the point where it's not even necessary. Because the thoughts that that want to stick around, the ones that you know wanna wanna just disrupt your sleep they're the ones that come without any petrol at all and they get towed away but the ones that are just a fleeting thought they've still got petrol in their car and they can just drive on they don't even need to stop or they can just drive up to the petrol pump see the sign and just move on and things start to change the 
way you feel starts to change. It's almost like a river that was blocked by fallen trees. It was almost causing a flood on one side of the river, going up an embankment, causing problems for people. Now you've cleared those trees so that the river can flow naturally and normally, flow steadily. and everything moves smoothly. Keep counting as long as you need. Until you drift into a deep sleep where your body will heal and your mind will heal. And when you awaken, you'll feel refreshed, you'll feel, you feel as if something's changed. And when you think about going to bed tonight or the next day, you won't dread it, you won't be concerned about anything. If anything, you may look forward to playing this game again, where you've taken control and given yourself permission to sleep, to slow the mind and sleep. Sleep.